Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, this one should be quick. This is a sort of a follow-up to the recent video I did reviewing the Ubiquiti Gen 2 24-port PoE switch. And this is a nice little feature that I came across that's called the Augmented Reality feature that's available on the smartphone. Now, I only tested it on iOS, but I understand it is available for Android as well. I think it's available on Google Play, so hopefully you'll be able to find that. I've seen multiple notes that it is now available, although there was a delay in the Android version. It's a really nice feature, and even on a small network like mine, it can do a lot of good in helping me manage it going forward. So let's take a look and see how it turns out. The first thing you need to do to test the augmented reality tool is to have the Unify controller up and running in whichever PC you define to run it in or one of the other appliances supplied by Ubiquiti. In this case, I'm using a PC. So if I go to my devices, I will see that I have my core switch up and running online. And if I look at the topology, I can actually see all the devices that I currently have connected to it. A little misleading on the very bottom one here because the RD router is at the end of the line. There are several other devices along the way. Also, in terms of the RD edit, that happens to be where my Unify controller happens to be running, the PC that I'm on right now. So with this all set, we can go ahead and try using the AR. We go and use whatever mechanism we need to go and get the Unify network app, and then we make sure we download it and get it ready to go. Start by tapping the app. Then we tap settings. Then we arrow over to more. Then we arrow over on AR. And now we have to wait for it to get ready to scan. Here we go. Now we scan the code in the front panel. And then we scan the entire switch. Come back and we get a little closer until it locks in. And there we go. You could see the core switch, RD core switch identified there, the little label with its IP address. And as we go each port, you'll see specific identifications. Port 1 has my Ubuntu server on it. Port 8 has my test bench. Port 15 has a LSNet Buffalo server. Then port 25 is connected to my studio switch, which ultimately goes to the PC that has the controller on it. Then in the upper left corner, we arrow back to the previous screen and then back into the controller itself. All done.